Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about Wilder O Mod 10.1 version 1 update. In this update you will get the new 10.15 prefix upgraded input controls and optimized DX versus for performance improvement. Also some old junk files have been removed for better optimization. And here the theme of the emulator has also been customized. Also you can use mods directly in GT5. For that you do not need to do any separate configuration. Here you can run mods directly. So in today's video we are going to try this folk version of Wilder. I will tell you its complete setup and will also share the best settings. So the video is going to be very interesting guys. Watch the video from start to end and if you are new to the channel then subscribe for such great videos. So without wasting any more time let's get started with the amazing video. Alright guys, this is the official gate page of Wilter O Mode. This update was released here recently. A lot of new improvements have been made here. So let's quickly set it up. First of all, open it and allow permissions. Then you have to wait. After that, you have to go to settings by sliding. Here you will find box 640.3.6, and you have to set the preset as always performance mode. After that, you will also make the cursor full. After that, you can also customize the cursor. You can also change its color etc by increasing its size here. After that, you just have to right click here. Now we will create a container. For that, click on the plus icon. Then set the resolution according to your device. And you will find all three types of graphics drivers here. I will select VX. Then in the DXV version, you will select the one which is given by default. Then click OK. After that, you have to slide from here to the very last option. Here the box is set in 64 preset already performance mode. You have to make the startup section aggressive and select Windows 10. After that you have to click on the right. Your container will be ready. After that, if you click on the play button, your windows will start. Here, Press the back button and slide. Then, if you tap on toggle full screen, it will become full screen. And you get to see an interface like this inside the one letter O mode. Now here you have to go to the D folder. Now this is the download folder of your phone. Here you have to keep the folders of your games. After opening their folders, you have to create a shortcut of their X file by right clicking. After this, all your games will come in the shortcut section of win letter O mode. From here you can also do the settings of these particular games. So you can see that different settings are applied in some games from here. So you can adjust all that and you can also select the controller profile from here, virtual gamepad. And after that you can start the game by force full screen. And if I talk about the performance here, then a very stable performance has been seen. What will happen with stability is that you will see less heating issue. The fluctuations will be reduced. Along with this, a lot of improvement has been done in the on-screen controllers as well. The left side joystick lags a lot or sometimes glitches are seen here. All those issues were not seen here. The touch controls were working quite smoothly. By the way, in terms of controls, my only suggestion to you would be that you should use a wireless controller because many times the phone also gets heated more due to the touch screen and there can be a lot of issues in the controls as well. You may face problems in some specific missions. That is why it is better to use a controller. Performance also improves a lot with it. And in GTA 5, we were seeing locked 30 FPS here. I don't know why the FPS were locked at 30 here, but stability is very good, meaning neither fluctuating FPS nor 30 FPS is very playable. There is no issue or lag felt here. And here I have added graphics mode. Graphics mode is working directly here without any configuration. Or any mode you use will work directly. And here I want to tell you one thing. I am playing with on-screen touchscreen control. But there are some specific missions in it. There you are going to face a lot of problems with the touchscreen. It becomes very difficult to play it. So in that I would suggest that you use a controller. Because recently I recorded a very big gameplay which I have uploaded on my channel. Those who haven't seen it, please watch it. I played it through the touchscreen and I was facing a lot of problems in the last mission. But now I am going to record the gameplay with the controller. So I will suggest you the controller. That was all in today's video. Do tell me in the comments how you liked the video. And subscribe to the channel for such great videos. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye, Sahinara.